on 2K Sports. From the attire to the food, the players' jerseys. Tonight, a celebration of the Latin culture. And tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up against the Washington Wizards. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Headed down the home stretch of the regular season. Greg, what was your go. favorite part of this time of year? Right now. <laughs> if you're a playoff team, Kevin, you are fine tuning, getting geared up. And if you're out of the postseason picture, I'm already calling my travel agent. Passes to Houston. Here's Isley. Harrington the screen. Like it six. And it's off from three-point range. And here are the Wizards now. Now Hughes. Here's Leitner. He dishes it to Jordan. Can't hit the free-throw line jump. Here's Houston. Pass to Isley. And there's the pass to Houston. Just fine on the clock. Here's Thomas. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Thomas got the game going here with the first basket for the Knicks. And here is Hughes. His last outing, he had 24 points. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And getting the offense started with a high-quality look down low. Here's Isley. Hughes covering. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here's Jordan. We saw him with 29 points last game. Hughes, the pass to Haywood. It's stolen by Harrington. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Isley. Nine-point game is last outing. Pass to Houston. Got a hand on it. They get it back. Now Stackhouse. On the wing, it's Larry Hughes. Over to the wing. Right side, Jordan. Sinks that one from the post. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Isley, the pass to Sprewell. Here's Houston from past the arc. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And we see Houston take a healthy amount of threes for a reason. This guy very accurate from beyond. Wizards trail by three. Hughes with it. Passes it to Jordan. The 11-footer. Haywood dishes to Jordan. Pass to Stackhouse. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Isley. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Houston. Oh, good on the three. And so Jordan will bring it up for the Wizards. They trail by one. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. Yeah, I mean, they had their chances, competed deep into that game, but had a few lulls there that just kind of took them down. And, you know, those are the kind of games that sting and that bad taste lingers. Knowing you were in it, but not coming through down the stretch, those are hard to get over sometimes. 
And here is Hughes. Just five to shoot. The Wizards need to get a shot off here. They now take the lead. Yeah, I just love how alert Hughes is. Super talented guard who knows when one of his guys is open. That was the 2K drive. As that move deserved another look. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Here's Isley. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. He kicks it to Harrington, takes the 13-footer. It's rebounded by Larry Hughes. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Dishes to Stackhouse. A three-pointer off the mark. New York trailing. Here's Sprewell. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Magic in Orlando. And we have to mention his rebound. It wasn't all about the offense. He battled his tail off down low. Here's Stackhouse. Now Hughes. And stolen by Thomas. Here's Houston. 14 points from him the last game against Orlando. Isley the pass to Houston. Over Stackhouse. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Here's Stackhouse. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. Clearly a positive sign. When Stackhouse is knocking down the three ball, the offense really opens up. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Knicks trail by four. Here's Houston. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. Well, this man knows how to handle that rock. Looks like it's part of his body. Jordan passes to Hughes. Here's Leitner. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. The pass to Hughes. Here's Leitner, four on the shot clock. Great D that time from Thomas. New York's gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Houston, the pass to Isley. To the middle, here's Sprewell. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. New York shooting their first free throw of the game. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. Those are good numbers for any team. I mean, they can feel extremely good about their free throw shooting Mind percentage this season. Find the lane. One shot. And that drops, so they now lead by one. You, you can't doubt that Sprewell has the talent. When focused, he's an incredibly efficient scorer as well. Pass to Isley. Passes to Houston. Six on the shot clock. They get it again. Thomas. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. The Knicks have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. And Washington making a change here. Brown's checked in. One shot. Now 
On the free throw, no good. Wizards trail by three. Hughes with it. Pass to Stackhouse. Now Brown. He's guarded by Thomas. Brown feeling it out a bit. Now the dish to Stackhouse. Can they get it? It doesn't go for him. The Knicks go the other way with it. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. Yeah, I mean, in that one, you really saw a difference in aggression between the two teams, particularly on the board. You know, I think that was the big difference in the game. One team was pounding the glass relentlessly, while the other team, not so much. Bill Spurwell, five points in the game. And here is Hughes. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Stackhouse takes it right at him to draw the foul. Up to the defense's challenge there. The Wizards shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And he makes the first. Yeah, you can't really have any qualms with Jerry Stackhouse's energy. I mean, he plays with a lot of intensity, which is contagious for his team, and sometimes that can be a difference maker out there. And the Knicks making a change here. Weatherspoon's checked in. Good on both. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Here's Isley, Hughes covering. On the pass to Sprewell. Shoots over Jordan. New York missing again. The Wizards have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Pass to Brock. And here is Jordan. And Thomas with the block. They retain possession. Two points, that one goes. New York trailing. Here's Isley. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Houston. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Houston, a, a pro at initiating the contact, an aggressive shooter who's looking for opportunities to get to the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And they have really leaned on his free Take throw shooting at Two times shot. this season. He's been there for them, too, with 88% from the line. You know, one thing about getting going at the free throw line like he has this season, it can continue to carry over. The first free throw is good. A dynamic and confident score. Houston, as steady as it gets at the offensive end. So he gets them both. The Wizards have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Hughes, the pass to Stackhouse. Over Houston. Stackhouse, good. Stackhouse has got nine. Stackhouse, man, you got to respect the scoring ability of Jerry Stackhouse. I mean, he feels like he can get off a shot anytime he wants, and he's right more times than he's not. New York's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Here's Houston. He's got seven. Here's Sprewell. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. And, you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Matter of fact, a lot of his points came from the strike. He was feeling it. And, you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. The first one falls. Charles Oak, he's checked in for the Wizards. Russell comes in for Jerry Stackhouse.
And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Hughes. They get a hand on it. Pushing it up. Here's Isley from down in the low post. It goes. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stance for New York. They're really mucking things up for the opposition. Racking up steal after steal. Just not letting them develop any kind of offensive rhythm. One other factor today, points off turnovers. I mean, let's see if they can keep up the pressure. Capitalize off more forced miscues. Here's Isley following the basket by Michael Jordan. Out to the right wing. Here's Houston. Steps back and drains the jump shot. Houston's got nine points. Much respect for the jumper of Houston. He knows exactly when to let it fly. Now Hughes. Outside Oakley. On the wing, Jordan. Oakley inside. Hughes with it. We've got 113 left in the first. Here's Houston, and again, it's New York. His mid-range shot is very solid. I mean, for some reason, the defense let him have it. Fifty-nine seconds left in the first quarter. Now here's Brown. No points in the game yet for him. Out to Russell. And they're running. Passes it to Spruill. Here's the three. Drains it from beyond the arc. And now it's an eight-point New York lead. And how about Sprewell? They're dropping ones from deep. Really like how he's starting to get a feel for that three-pointer. We've got 28 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Hughes. Oakley passes to Hughes. Inside. And there's the feed to Oakley. Brown against Thomas. Screened by Oakley. Pass to Jordan. Shot to stop the run. So it's New York in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And we return to the second quarter, and Noche Latina specialized jerseys on display. Welcome back, everyone. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible. And here is Hughes, outside Oakley. The pass to Russell, puts it up from 17, doesn't go for him. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Home court didn't seem to help any last time they met. We'll see if it makes a difference this time. And turnovers were the story for them when they saw each other last. I mean, just a heartbreaking way to lose the game. Yeah, and when you think about it, there was some really sloppy basketball being played by them. And they recognized that had they played a cleaner game, they could have gotten the win. Pass to Houston. Here's Warren. Hughes covering. Anderson right side. To the left side wing. 
Five to shoot. Here's Houston. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Wizards trail by eight. Hughes, the pass to Brown. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Here's Moore. His last outing, he had eight points. This is it to Houston. Thomas is screen on Russell. Here's Houston. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Houston's got the lead up to eight now for the Knicks. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. Screen by Oakley. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. When you compare the numbers from the 80s, mid-90s to today, scoring Greg and pace is down. Oh, why? Well, well, I think the game has become dominated by big men, and so that lends to slowing it down, trying to grind out wins. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws good from Stackhouse. New York leading by six. Anderson outside. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. And New York making a change here. Pass to Weatherspoon. Now here's Anderson. Weatherspoon the pass to Anderson. Four on the clock. New York needs to get off a shot. That one doesn't drop. And Washington the other way now. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Hughes. Rebound by Goliath. The Knicks leading by six. Here's Moore. He's still scoreless so far in this one. They set the pick. Out to the right wing. Here's Goliath. Good on the 13-footer. And I like the decision making. He's taking what the defense is willing to give him. You know, more and more big guys in the league have that mid-range shot in their bag now, and they need it. Wizards trail by eight. Al Hughes. Here's Stackhouse. Over Anderson. No good from Stackhouse. The Knicks have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Six to shoot. Here's Spruwell. Ten points for him. That shot misses. Russell against Anderson. Down low. Got a piece of it. Here's Spruwell. Tries from 10, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. For New York, they have hit most of their free throws tonight, 5 of 6. Shooting 2.
First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. And we're seeing more and more high schoolers coming straight to the NBA. Some wish the league would require players, Greg, to wait a few years first. Why is that? Kevin, I, I think the concern is talent evaluation. But if you give high schoolers an opportunity to compete at a higher level, scouts should have plenty to dissect. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. Here's Oakley. The rebound by Anderson. And it's Brown missing. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Here's Warren. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Six on the shot clock. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. What's up? Wizards trail by 13. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Nice ball movement by Washington. There's the pass to Jordan. They need this, and it's good on the layup. Jordan's got six. And not much else you can do. I mean, defensively, you try to make it hard on Jordan without fouling, but he's just too dialed in. New York calls timeout. defense the Wizards 11 point game here's war looking at his point production he averages almost eight points a game shot clock at six lets it go from deep rebound by the Wizards Oakley's got his fifth rebound in this one Russell finds Jordan. To the wing right side. Lock at six. Screen by Oakley. Dixon passes to Oakley. And that's one of those tough areas to feed the basketball at times. Here's Sprewell. The shot will not fall. Jordan with some nice D. Pass to Dixon. Up top, Oakley. Kicks it to Russell. Tipped away. No good on the triple. The Knicks leading by 11. 
Here's what. Rebounded by the Wizards. Oakley's got six rebounds here tonight. Anderson against Russell. Pass to Dixon from downtown. And again, Washington, no good. New York's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Pass to Ward. Out left to the wing. They get the rebound. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. They trail by 11. Lobs it up for Jordan. Here's Ward. There's the pick to the left wing. Five on the clock. Here's Doliak to end the cold streak. Ward, good. Ward's got the lead up to 13 now for New York. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. Washington calls timeout. So for the Wizards, Leitner's checked in for Oakland. And Jerry Stackhouse is subbed in for Brian Russell. Stackhouse. He's got 11. The pass to Dixon. Hits it to go from beyond the arc. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. So it's the Knicks now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Here's Houston, covered by Stackhouse. Fires from 18. Houston can't get it to go. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Fires from the corner. It'll go, and the New York lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Stackhouse. And Stackhouse has a superb jump shot, a real score. This guy is attacking and squaring himself up to the basket and knocking shots down. Here's Houston. 13 points in the game. He hits the target from 18 feet. Houston's got 15 points. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame yeah i love the fact he doesn't play the score he just keeps coming attack mode he doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal dixon passes to stackhouse Here's Leitner. Nice ball movement by Washington. Jordan in the corner. And Washington again with the bucket. Jordan getting quickly into the shot. No hesitation. Supreme confidence shooting off the pass. New York leading by eight. Here's Houston. 15 points in the game. Over to the left wing. Here's Ward. Thomas a screen. Six to shoot. Ward the pass to Thomas. And it's Leitner with the rebound. Wizards trail by eight. 
Pass to Dixon. Here's Leitner. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Jordan. A rebound by Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon's got five rebounds tonight. Pass is to Ward. Pass to Sprewell. Over Jordan. And it's Sprewell missing. Washington's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Now the pass to Stackups. 130 left to play in the first half. And the Knicks making a change here. Harrington's checked in. One twenty-nine left to play here in the second quarter. Now Stackhouse, 13 points in the game. Off target on the 15-footer. Here's Sprewell, guarded by Jordan. Pass to Ward. Here's Houston. Down to five on the shot clock. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Fifty-nine seconds left to play here in the half. Dixon passes to Stackhouse. That's good. He's five for nine. You're playing around with fire anytime you let Stackhouse get this close now. He's a potent offensive scorer. There's 49 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Ward. He has five. New York, no good that time either. They time it right. They can end this quarter with a two for one. And that's how you want to end the quarters. Stackhouse locked in, loaded on the catch. Almost automatic. Thirty-two seconds left in the first half. Here's Houston, covered by Stackhouse. Harrington the screen. Here's Houston, and the basket good. A bank shot that time. Houston's got six points in the quarter. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tougher defensively. Passes it to Jordan. One second left, and the layup is good. Jordan's got 10 points. The touch on Jordan's close range. Shots is really outstanding. He almost makes it look simple and easy to score in close like that. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Knicks. They're up by three. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Wizards trail by three. To the inside. Drops in the layup for two. Jordan's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Wizards. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And a close game like this, you've got to dig deep and just find a way to make things happen. Here's Isley. Hughes covering. Pass to Houston. Thompson, great positioning on the putback. And the Knicks lead by three. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. That's what they've got him out there for, fellas. Here's Hughes. 
Here's the pass to Jordan. Shot clock at five. Pass to Leitner. Wizards passing it around. Hayward. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. He's got six. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Here's Isley. Hughes covering. Right wing. Here's Houston. It's deflected. Out of bounds. Next ball as New York keeps possession of it. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. And good that time. Isler's got his second basket of the game. Wizards trail by three. Hughes with it. Passes it to Stackers. Jordan outside. Clock at four. For the tie. Knicks with the rebound. Here's Houston. He's got 17. Pass to Sprewell. Over Jordan. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. Now here's Jordan. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Tries it from 19. The rebound by Ice. The Knicks leading by five. Inside, here is Harrington, and Harrington throws it down. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Washington calls timeout. the pass to Jordan now Stackhouse screen by Jordan whistle blows basket is good so a chance here for a three point play gotta do more than this to slow down Stackhouse now he doesn't let tight defense bother him. the Wizards have looked good at the line tonight. they're perfect in four attempts The free throw drops for Stackhouse. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Here's Isley, the pass to Houston. Harrington the screen, high post shot. Houston's shot's good. Houston's got 19 points. Wizards trail by six. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. On the wing, Hughes. Now Stackhouse. 21 points in the game. Five on the clock. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. 
this season, 88% on the line, so he has been in a comfort zone. You know, there's been some Take improvement in his free throw shooting this year. Two his shot. percentage has taken a little jump compared to last season. And he knocks down the first one. Free throws good from Stackhouse. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Here's Isley. Hughes covering. Harrington with a screen on Hughes. Outside for Harrington. And again, it's New York. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on it. Wizards trail by six. And here is Hughes. Here's Stackhouse. Pass to Waitner. Over Thomas. And no good. Trying to use the glass. The Knicks leading by six. Isley the pass to Springer. And it's Waitner with the rebound. The Wizards have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Feeds it to Jordan. That shot is in just like six others have been for him. He's shooting seven for 15. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Here's Isley. Here's Houston. And to get open is Harrington. They grab their own miss. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Knicks. And they've shown great focus on the defensive end, putting constant pressure on the ball and really disruptive in terms of what they've done defensively. They've been pounding any miss on the glass and cashing in on the offensive boards. Uh, I've been impressed with that aspect of their game. Here's Hughes. Passes it to Leitner. Jordan on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot's good. Jordan's got 16 points. Now, I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. And it's the Knicks with the ball. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. New York takes timeout. As we get a break in the action now, let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. Take a look at New York. They're good enough for eighth place in the conference right now. Looking to hold on to that. And checking out Washington. Just a few spots below there. And seeing where the Knicks are, they're one of those teams that hasn't quite figured it out this year. A lot of talent, a lot of heart, but nothing to put them up on that next level. You know, it's really hard to figure out exactly what's been missing, but there is something missing that perhaps could be the system they're playing in. Three well, that's good. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Wizards trail by seven. Hughes up top. Pass to Leitner. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Hughes with it. Out to the right wing. Here's Stackhouse. Thomas grabs the rebound. 
Thomas got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Houston, the pass to Sprewell, and the foul called on Michael Jordan. And that'll be his third foul so far. Brown is checked in for Leighton. Here's Isley. Harrington with a screen on Hughes. Just five on the clock. And Harrington throws it down. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Now Hughes. Stackhouse the pass to Hughes. The pass to Jordan. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength to convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And, you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he attacked, got to the line a bunch, and cashed in on his chances. Guys, I like that this is a part of his game that has really been consistent this year. Free throw good, Jordan. You know, there's so much that's amazing to me about Jordan, but his endurance stands out. He consistently gets stronger, it seems, as the game goes on. And the foul called on Larry Hughes. That's his first foul. Here's Sprewell. He's defended by Jordan. Harrington the screen. Here's Houston. Rebound, Washington. Brown's got six rebounds now in the game. To the middle. Here's Stackhouse. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Hughes, the pass to Stackhouse, and he banks in the layup. Now just a two-point Knicks lead. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Following the bucket by the Wizards. Houston, the pass to Isley. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Isley's got six. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. And here is Hughes. Here's Stackhouse. Again, the Wizards, good for two. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now, and so far, no go. New York calls timeout. Russell, he's checked in for the Wizards. The Knicks with the lead. And the foul called on Larry Hughes. That's foul number two for him. Here's Sprewell. He's got 16. New York moving the ball around. That was clearly a forced pass. There was no room for him to make it. Russell passes to Hughes. Russell left side. Brown outside. Shot clock at six. Jordan on the wing. For the tie. And he lays it up and in. Heywood's got it all tied up now for the Wizards. 
Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. Here's Isley. He has six. Takes the three. And it's Russell with the rebound. He feeds it to Haywood. Back to Russell. Brown outside. Right side, Jordan. Yep, that one goes in there. Jordan's got 21. Not surprising at all to see Jordan piling up points, playing with a lot of determination and grit and insisting on being aggressive looking for a shot. Haywood with the block, and he gets it back. Here's Houston. Lays it up off the glass. And one points in the game. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Russell passes to Hughes. To the paint. Here's Jordan. Again, the Wizards score. I think Jordan could do this all day long. I mean, the mid-range area is a very comfortable area for him. Here's Houston. He's got 21. 152 left in the third quarter. So the wing on the left. Here's Isley. Pass to Houston. Six on the shot clock. Shoots from the line. And he comes up with the deuce. Houston's got six here in this quarter. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup. But you'd be assuming wrong. This is his second trip to the free throw line. First free throw is good. And so Jordan nails both of them. New York trailing. Here's Isley. He's got six. Over to the wing. Here's Sprewell. Rebound by the Wizards. Haywood's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Russell looking it over. Hughes with it. Picked by Haywood. Lock at six. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That pass into the paint, that is a work of art there. Dead on target. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Washington. I've noticed how they've spent a lot of this game getting aggressive down low, muscling their way to shots in the low post area. And yeah. the other thing that stands out is just how well they have moved the ball. Everyone's touching it and having a chance to create. And the Knicks making a change here. Weatherspoon's jacked in. That free throw good from Haywood. 51 seconds left to play in the third. Isley the pass to Houston. Knocks down the three ball. Houston's got nine points now in just the second half. And this is where Houston is at his best. So good at just catching and shooting. Brown finds Jordan. Back to Brown. Shot clock at six. Now Hughes trains the 19-footer. Hughes got his second bucket. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. Perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speeches at halftime got both of these teams fired up. Thomas, a screen on Hughes. 
Passes it to Springwood. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Wizards lead by one. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Here's Ward. Anderson outside. The fadeaway. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Now Stackhouse to the left side wing. From the arc. A rebound by Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Ward. Anderson outside. Here's Thomas. The nine footers on the mark. Thomas got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Knicks. We can expect a dramatic end of this one. Yeah, no, no quit by either side, guys. Neither team willing to give any ground. Dixon passes to Leitner. He dishes it to Stackhouse. Five to shoot. Here he goes. Second shot opportunity. Yes! And the foul. That's on Kurt Thomas. I mean, he is just demoralizing his opponent right now on the backboard. They didn't want anything to do with him on that possession. Almost like they were just giving up on the play. I love his ability to carry his team for, for long stretches in games. And we're right now in one of those stretches. He's been doing this for a couple of games in a row now. So he's, uh, he's rolling. The free throw drops for Stackhouse. The Knicks shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Or the pass to Anderson. And the pass to Springwell. Knocked loose and stolen by Russell. To the left wing. Here's Leitner. To the wing right side. Six to shoot. Russell passes to Leitner. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Now it's a five-point Wizards lead. And almost seven feet tall. Leitner, one of the better shooters for a big man. And so here is New York. Here's Ward. Out to the right wing. Here's Anderson. And the shot is long. Wizards leading by five. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Pass to Dixon. Going inside, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And he makes the first. The Knicks making a switch here. Harrington's checked in. Michael Jordan is checked in for the Wizards. He's perfect from the line this time. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Ward. Out left to the wing. Left side, Anderson. Caught that one. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. 
That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Wizards leading by five. Hooked away. Passes to Stackers. Shoots the three. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. Well, head to the line for three free throws. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. You have to avoid fouls like that. As a defender, challenge the three-point shooter, but run by three him, shot. not into three him. Shot. And he's good on the first of three. Second free throw, no good. And he nails the third. Next trail by seven. Here's Ward. Left side, Anderson. The second effort. Nice contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And really, at this stage of the game, to get those kinds of offensive rebounds for putbacks, you almost feel like it's a four-point swing. Yeah, you really do, because those extra possessions, when they lead to points, that's huge. I mean, he did a nice job there. Never gave up on the play, and you know my motto, persistence pays dividend. That free throw good from Anderson. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Pass to Waitner. And here is Jordan. Over Sprewell. And another miss by Washington. Next trail by four. Here's Ward. Now here's Anderson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, the defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. And the first one at the line is good. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Washington leading now by three. The pass to Stackups. The Wizards working the ball around now. And, and, and you can tolerate gas like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. And Washington making a change here. Oakley's checked in. The Knicks have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Here's Sprewell, guarded by Jordan. A fader. And it's Sprewell missing. You know, not sure if he's playing to the crowd, but, but no need for the fadeaway on that shot. Dixon passes to Stackhouse.
Here's Leitner. And here is Jordan. 18 feet out. The rebound by Anderson. Pass to Springwood. Back to Anderson. Just five to shoot. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Dixon passes to Jordan. With the fadeaway. The Wizards with another miss. Knicks trail by three. Here's Ward. Pass to Anderson. Stolen. Dixon passes to Jordan. Here's Leitner. And there's the pass to Dixon. And again, Washington, no good. He has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. Here's Warren. Harrington the screen. Pass to Weatherspoon. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. The shot that time, not on target. Now the Wizards take it the other way. Pass to Stackers. And there's the drive. It's tipped. Stolen by Anderson. To the middle. And stolen by Oakley. Passes it to Stackhouse. Shot clock at five. To stop the drought. Yep, it counts. Jordan's got 17 points here in the second half. Boy, that's simply ice cold, folks. Jordan not bothered at all by the clock. He just takes his shot in rhythm and on target. Knicks trail by five. Here's Moore. To the right side. Puts one up for 19. Offensive rebound. Good to see a player going all out for the games this time. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. Washington calls timeout. Larry Hughes has checked in for Leighton. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Guys, Doug Collins was just reviewing things with his team. He really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. You got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Wizards leading by three. Hughes, the pass to Stackhouse. And here is Hughes. It's rebounded by New York. Weather Spoon's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Sprewell, the pass to Ward. Now the pass to Houston. Over Dixon. Oh, they get it back. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to go on Charles Oakley. First free throw is good. Isley's checked in for New York. Oh, 
that's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Wizards with the lead. Hughes with it. Here's Stackhouse. It's good from long range. Stackhouse has got 37. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Sprewell. Takes it inside. Here's Weatherspoon. Pass to Houston. New York moving the ball around. Here's Isley. Second chance shot. Misses at the rim. Wizards leading by four. Now Hughes. Pass to Jordan. Just five on the clock. Stackhouse the pass to Dixon. This one for three. And again, Washington with the triple. New York calls timeout. The Knicks making a switch here. Thomas has checked in. Knicks trail by seven. Anderson is screen on Hughes. Pass to Houston. The three drops in the tray. Houston's got 29. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Wizards leading by four. Hughes, the pass to Dixon. Here's Stackhouse. The pass to Dixon. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by Thomas. Thomas got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's Isley. Anderson a screen on Hughes. Pass to Houston. Thomas a screen. Goes up to the strike. That one's good. And the Washington lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Houston. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're in front by two. 141 left in the fourth. left in the fourth quarter and here is Hughes here's Dixon a three-pointer is right on target and the Wizards lead by five and those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game time call here the Knicks decide to talk it over they're behind by five 132 left in the fourth quarter
1.32 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Freewell, covered by Stackhouse. From 17 feet out, Thomas. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Here's Hughes. Pass to Jordan. And out of bounds is the next game possession. And what a time to get sloppy. A close game like this, you cannot be getting loose with the ball. Knicks trail by three. Here's Spruwell. Over Stackhouse. It counts! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Jordan. Count. Well, Jordan has been fantastic. No room for them to make a mistake here. You got to almost play perfect from here on out. Here's Sprewell, covered by Stackhouse. Sprewell, the pass to Thomas. It drops. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. Perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speeches at halftime got both of these teams fired up. Washington calls timeout. They're up by one. 27 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Seven seconds left in the game, and he commits the intentional foul. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. Drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. And Hughes, a very solid player, guys. I mean, an athletic guard who can get hot on occasion. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. And the perfect time to be perfect at the line. Only a three can tie it now. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're down by three. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Pretty well, two seconds separating the shot clock and game. Clock. Pretty well, oozing with confidence, always looking to pull the trigger. Feels like nobody can guard. There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter, and they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Do it. It's not over. Clock. Is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really want. He's got one more, though. And he does get the second one. And that will put them up by two. 
Here's Ruel. To take the lead. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. And so it's Washington who scraped by with the win. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you later.